As a programmer, the interface you usually get for mouse data is exceedingly simple. Usually just motion and two buttons, maybe three. In a modern computer system, so many different layers of software are involved in making the mouse work. From drivers for the mouse itself and whatever I.O. port it happens to be attached to, to display driver support for drawing the mouse cursor, Windows Server support for sharing the mouse amongst multiple applications. All of this bureaucracy provides layers of isolation between the applications and the hardware, but it also comes with its own rigid structure. Linux users might be familiar with the long-standing tradition of emulating the mouse wheel as two otherwise unused buttons. Horizontal scrolling is still new enough to be a cross-platform nightmare unto itself. We've had a more flexible way of representing input devices for a while now. APIs for operating systems and GUI toolkits naturally have to change quite slowly. Programmers then replicate the patterns that the operating system set up, and so on. In the late 1990s, the standards behind USB were starting to come together. There was one portion of the USB spec that in particular was trying to address this proliferation of really strange input devices that all used their own custom protocols over the existing PS2 or serial ports. This was the USB Human Interface Devices, or HID, spec. HID was a remarkably forward-looking, and in some ways naively optimistic, specification that tried to cover any conceivable way that you could have a USB device connect between a computer and a human. The vast majority of the HID devices we actually see out in the world are mice and keyboards, but HID was designed to support anything from small display devices to exotic input devices for simulation environments. But despite these tables of optimistic hexadecimal codes for magic carpet simulations and VR devices, no one at the time really could define how those drivers would work, and so no one really wanted hardware that no one would know how to write a driver for.